Hey everyone, welcome to Vantage with AI. Today I'm showcasing a new workflow that uses ByteDance's Lynx, a model that allows you to replace the face in a generated T2V video with a provided reference image, helping you maintain character consistency in your text to video workflows. Now, Lynx is quite a heavy model. It requires the WAN 2.1 text to video model, along with both Lynx IP and reference models to run properly, which can be demanding on a consumer grade GPU with limited VRAM. To make things smoother, I've created quantized GGUF versions of both the full reference and light IP model. These work perfectly with the quantized GGUF version of WAN 2.1 T2V. With Q4 quantization, you can even run this workflow on an 8GB VRAM GPU. I tested it on an RTX 3060 with 12 GB VRAM and the Q6 version ran beautifully. No out of memory errors and it generated a 5 second 24 FPS video in just 10 minutes. To use this workflow, you'll need to download a few models. Don't worry, all the links are provided inside the workflow and also in the description below. Here's what you'll need. Links models, IP adapter, a reference adapter and a WAN 2.1 T2V model. You will also need these LoRa's, LightX 2V 4-step LoRa and optional 1.2.1 Fun 14B HPS 2.1 Reward LoRa. For VAE, we'll use WAN 2.1 VAE, and we will also need Lynx Lite Resampler. All the download links are listed in the workflow and in the description below. While you're down there, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And please drop a comment if you enjoyed the video or have any questions. I try to reply as soon as possible. Now let's quickly go through the main sections of this workflow. Load Models Group, where you load all the required models. Inputs, here, you'll load your input image and provide your T2V prompt. There's no need to modify the Lynx prompt, we'll just use the default. Lynx Embeds, this is the part where all the Lynx magic happens. It creates the IP image and reference image that the model uses to generate consistent visuals. We also define the height, width, and number of frames here. For low VRAM setups, we'll use a width of 832 and a height of 480. For the number of frames, we'll go with 121 since Lynx outputs 24 FPS videos. That gives us roughly a 5 second clip. Sampling group where the actual video generation happens. Ok, let's take it out for a spin. For this test, I will be using my own image and this prompt. Let's run it. The results are in, and it performed perfectly. The generated video followed the prompt accurately and even used my face as the character's face. It somehow managed to make my disheveled, unkempt beard look trimmed and neat. So that's a win in my book. And that's it for today's video. All the download links are in the description below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with another awesome workflow. Bye for now.